beautiful snake. Yeah, it sure is. Mm -hmm. See if you can hold him still for my shot, will you please? <laughs> <laughs> guys from Sakonakon Airport. We are here to pick up our mystery guest. We're kind of excited because this is the first time we've ever had any guest out to the village and of course to our new brand new house. They're going to be staying with us. So they're going to get about three days of deep immersion into the village life and the culture and we're going to go out herping and it should be really interesting to see how they react but you guys are going to see who the guest is here shortly. I think you'll recognize him. All right you guys. <laughs> Hello, my friend. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. How you doing? I'm good. Hey, Apple. Hey, hey guys. Nice to meet you. Oh, so we have arrived in uh, northern yeah. Thailand after like how many hours? 30, 40, 30 like almost 48 hours. Almost 40 hours. traveling. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Nice. It was horrendous. Yeah, but it was I'm good. Only, I'm, I'm three days ahead of you, so I'm like starting to acclimate. Okay. Like, we did well. the same thing. <laughs> I, we didn't I, get a hotel and get a nap in, though. We just yeah, that, that, that was the best thing we could have done was get a hotel. But I think we'll be acclimated oh. in like two hours, so let's get out there and find some. Let's birds. do it. Yeah, let's do it. Sweet. Okay, Mr. Dave, you wanted to see Toke Gekko's? Uh, yes, I did. Neighbor across the street caught this for you. Bye bye, San Jan. Look at that. He's so grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she didn't even break the tail. No. I'm, I'm impressed. Oh, it's got a full that. tail. Yep. Kapoon Kap. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're headed to the temple. To take the boys to the temple. Get a blessing. Uh, quick little introduction here to the, the village monk and it should be pretty interesting to see how they react to this. I don't think they've done this before so um, just giving them a full immersion into the village life should be interesting. Oh, 
was like, oh no. Yeah. There we go. Alright. That is big. Okay, we're at the temple. We are going to check the temple grounds. We're gonna be looking for some snakes and whatever else we can find. It's always very, very interesting when we do this with the monk. It uh, it almost brings out like a like a childish side <laughs> yeah. of the monk takes him back to his boyhood. It's just really odd because normally, you know, we, we have jungle guides and that sort of thing. And our jungle guide this evening is a monk. And it's just really odd to me. It just doesn't compute. But anyway, um, interesting area here. Uh, we've been here once before. So we'll take a look and see. Uh, we scouted out some tarantula holes and things. So uh -huh, yes. you'll be using your magic, I guess, to try I, to... I try Do you already best. have your grass I, ready? I, I oh, you along do. The you way. already <laughs> have it. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, you guys, we're going to see what we can find. <laughs> Apple, what'd you catch there? I got baby toke uh, toke gecko. Cute. Look at that little tail. Look at that eyes. Okay, you guys, we got lucky on the temple grounds. We got a sunbeam snake, and Dave is really happy because this is one of the target species that he uh, has made his short list of, and this is one of them, so we're pretty excited about that. I've seen just a handful of these in all my days here in this area, but it's always great to find one, especially when it's dry like this. It's hard to find these guys, but we're looking in this garden area where it's kind of moist and not mud, but just the dirt is just wet. You can see all the green grass and everything as opposed to the dry kind of environment that we've been at in the beginning of this video. So anyway, you can see the iridescence. These guys are made for burrowing. You can go both directions on the scales. They're, they're just super smooth. It's just one of those types of snakes. It's just lives in the dirt in the ground just burrowing through oftentimes they're eating um, whatever they can find actually when they go through the dirt be it insects or any kind of I would say lizard prey eggs probably just about anything they're probably just opportunistic but that's pretty cool I could not be happier that we found this. <laughs> this is fantastic. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, this is like yep. this is like one of the target species that Good. I wanted for Thailand. And Perfect. Here Definitely. it is on our first night. Yeah, well, we're not done yet. Fantastic. Nice. 
guys, another night herping at the temple is complete. <laughs> Sunbeam snake, that's cool. Toke geckos, yes. different stuff like that. It's always good. Oh, we forgot one thing. We have to close the gate. Yes. Okay, let's do it. You do it. We have a banded crate over here. They can be kind of fast, so I don't want to lose this one. Let's see where the head is. All right, so we've got banded crates up here. Oh, look at that beauty. Got it. Holy crap. Look at that beauty. Okay, be a little bit careful. These guys can get really crazy. Especially at night. At night, yes. Yep. So during the day, these guys are actually rather docile, but at night, man, they drink crazy juice. Yeah, but I treat them the same. Yeah, well, absolutely. <laughs> treat them the same. That is a beautiful snake. I am going to turn my light off. That is a beautiful one too. Really yeah. wow. nice. Where's his head at? There it is. Uh, yeah. This they're, is a lifer. They're really, really crazy snakes to control. Yeah. They um they're they get real whippy and they go the opposite direction of what you expect them to. Yeah, he is not liking being handled, is he? No. <laughs> so now this is one of two species of crates that's found up here, correct? Yeah. And the Thai people here, that this snake they know really, yeah. really oh, well. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Really well. This is the snake that makes them fear all snakes. Yep. So now, Dan, this is our first one of these, obviously. Uh huh. What is this, number 506 for you? No, it, we don't see a lot of these, but uh, I don't know, I think we've probably seen about 15 or so, something like that. That's a good number. But we've seen some real big, big impressive ones. And what would you say this one is? Maybe, I mean, this is obviously an adult. Yeah. But if you were to guess the age by the size. I, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not familiar with the growth rate of this species. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I can tell you that the, the food sources in this area are plentiful. Mm -hmm. um, lots of fish and lots of frogs. And these guys can essentially just gorge every single night if they wanted to. Right, exactly. So they're gonna be growing at a, at a very fast rate for the species. Now these are primarily frog eaters and yeah, fish eaters. And snake eaters as well. Right. So they like to be in the dirt, in the mud, in the water. They're they're pretty aquatic. Yeah, right. And it's kind of dry right now this time of year. Hard to to see these guys. Or maybe it's maybe the opposite. It they're not going to be as active because it's dry, but they're going to be easier to find because they're not going to be buried in the mud. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like I've always said, there are advantages and disadvantages to being here in the dry season. Right. Okay, you guys, we have a kukri here. This, I believe, is going to be Oligodon fasciolatus. Sometimes the books and online will identify these as purpurassins, but this does not look like the, any purpurassins that I've ever dealt with out of Indonesia. This is a different animal. I think, I think this one's going to be fasciolatus. Very, very large one. Oh, don't bite yourself. That is a cool snake. Rear fanged, uh, specialized feeder on eggs. And those teeth are um, also, they're not, they're not meant for human, you know, bites and defensive bites, but boy, I tell you what, they work really, really well in slicing skin. And they're, they're just not fun to get bit by. Oh, you're gonna ride the hook, nice. 
that's perfect. So that is an awesome specimen. Keep hearing something in the bushes over here. I don't know what that is. But anyway, it's not a particularly snaky night, but we're finding some actually really good finds. It's like minus, minus all of the super common stuff. And we're just finding really, really good animals this evening. Sunbeam at the temple. Now we're just walking the rice farms, banded crate, and now kukri. Can't complain about that, that's fantastic. So I don't know what the rest of the night will reveal. I have no idea, we never know. But um, we gotta find some water and maybe we'll be able to find some aquatic stuff. All right, cool. Let this one go and that is it. Okay, you guys, day one with Dave is over with. We had a pretty good day, we found some good stuff. I know they're happy, we're happy also. We are going to bed. It is about 10.30, 10.35, and that is about it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.